Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Let's continue through the battle, or, yeah, the battleship Gargantua. Try to rescue Jeff. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain okay. Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. From Carter? No, Oops, General Thursday, Carter. Thursday, open a communication channel. Fanny Pack. Carter! <laughs> You're being a sore loser, Gordon. Um, we're winning? Of course. I can't let a villain like you win for the sake of Earth. I swear by the name Defender of Earth, Carter, I will defeat you. Yeah, we're kind of kicking your ass. Do you? This invasion is for the sake of Earth. What? As you know, the Earth is confronting a serious crisis. The boom in population, the rise in crime, and the shortage of natural resources. The human race can't survive much longer. We can actually take it responsibility. Would astronomical budget merely to find a new home for the people of Earth. But that would be too easy. That's why taking over the Netherworld is such a simple and economical solution. Hmm. Your efforts are admirable. You'd make a great demon. But there wouldn't be a crisis in the first place if you humans weren't so stupid. An invasion is As economical? As the overlord of the netherworld, let me say just one thing. Clean up your own damn mess. I would think a war would be pretty expensive. You foul-mouthed little runt! I have something to add to that. General Carter, I am beyond angry! What do you mean, beyond angry? There's nothing beyond anger. Give back my Jennifer Chrome Dome! That's why the lesson Are to the kids is revenge. Can't play nice. And neither will I. I'll crush you for the sake of Earth's future. Prepare yourselves. Well, you could at least execute us. Okay, this battle, pretty similar to the last one there. We got these five guys there. So what I want to do is, fortunately, they're all lined up very nicely, single file. And the one in the middle is weak to fire. So I'm going to use Totenkreutz. Did I pronounce that correctly this time? I'm serious. I mean, I don't know. I, I, at least that's what everyone was telling me, all my German viewers. I have a lot of German viewers. Which is good. So anyway, once you take out the guy in the middle, Meteor! All four of them, you should be able to kill most of them. Ha! Good enough so far. And then take out the last one, and the rest of the battle should be relatively easy. Then you won't get ambushed all at once. Another thing you could have done is thrown the Harl all the way to the back and Meteor Impact all three of them in the back there, but they got quite a bit of HP and it'd be hard to take them all out in the first round. So I like, you know, taking it one step at a time, taking it easy there. Let's see... Ooh, the two outside guys are uh, weak to ice! So let's put Flan there and use a uh, figure eight on uh, the two guys on the outside there. At least get a little more damage in. Now, unfortunately, the guy in the middle will probably use Wind Cutter on two of, two of us there. But I think we should be able to survive one of them. Okay, okay, we're still good. Thank you for not ganging up on one guy. Man, these guys could really use some more advanced abilities. I mean, at least it's better than throw stone, but still. And some guys are throwing stones at me in my other LP. They escaped from Final Fantasy Tactics. Or Ivalice. Okay. Just one more to go. Let's go with a good hurricane. Let's see, he is weak to fire. And another Totenkreutz, and that should be good. Yeah, this battle, pretty easy. Next battle, not so much. Okay, got it. 
Okay, so now we gotta prepare for the next battle. Normally, I like to do my level grinding before the final battle of a chapter, but this battle is so hard that I've already prepared a save file in advance now so that I don't have to do the level grinding on the screen, obviously. Uh, let's see, yeah, episode 13 there. And uh, let's see, okay, I've gotten everyone up to level 58. Uh, same level grinding spots as before. All my uh, spell animations are on, so let's do it! This is what I think is the hardest battle in the main storyline. Or at least top three, but I think it's probably the hardest. Curtis! Glad you could make it, Gordon. I knew the hordes of security guards wouldn't be enough to stop you. That's why I put them in your way. I thought you might like to know. It's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter. And with them, my soul. They swallowed it. Hey, he's giving us his life story. Well, might as well. Should we attack now? Shoot him. No, we have to listen. The rival always has a tragic past. Yeah, she's played this JRPG before. May I continue? Oh, please, by all means. As I was saying, it's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter. And with them, my soul. Back then, I was a top scientist, burning with a passion to save the Earth. If it wasn't for that fateful incident... What kind of incident? Ago? As a result of the explosion in the lab, I lost my family and 70% of my body. Maybe you shouldn't have brought your family to the lab. anti-space development terrorists were to blame. What was it, take you your family to work day? Your and daughter were victims of that incident? That's right. You caught the culprits. But what comfort would that be to me? Revenge? I swore to my wife and child since the Defender of Earth couldn't do his job, I would take his place. And I became a cyborg to do just that. What good is the Defender of Earth if he can't save innocent people? I'd like a to be a cyborg. would do anything in his power to save as many people as possible. I can't accept anything less. I will defeat you, Gordon, and claim the title of true Defender of Earth. That is the only path left to me. Or you could help us. Oh, well, that's it. I didn't know you had such a past, Curtis. It Maybe. was all due to my failings. Forgive me. Maybe you should have told him that. But what you're doing now, Curtis, is not the right way. You need the heroic music. I'm fighting for the sake of humanity. Invading the netherworld might save the Earth. But it no. will require many sacrifices. Is that what you want? Is that really for the sake of Earth? No, it's just revenge. You should know best what it feels like to be a victim, Curtis. What will your wife and daughter think up in heaven? I am the Defender of Earth. My duty is to right what is wrong, even if it means that I must face a comrade in arms. I don't want to fight you, but this is for your own good. Here I come, comrade. Behold, the true spirit of a defender. This is for your own good, Curtis. For boss time, in probably the hardest battle in the game. Now, we've got Curtis over there, but he's not going to attack us right away. we got enemy boost plus 150%, and we've got three enemy boost plus 50%, Geo symbols all over the battlefield, and we need to take them out fast, or they will kill you! Fortunately, there is a little trick you can do. You can throw the enemies right onto the geo symbols there, and take them out. If you try to take them out the old-fashioned way, that would be really, really hard to do. So, and even if you do it this way, it's still really hard. I'm probably going to lose one of my party members here. At least one of my party members here. So take out the geo symbols and then pass the turn. Hopefully, not too many of us will die. But I sent out my three strongest or most defensive characters, so that way they either will survive by sheer HP or with their evasion. The real big problem is not the, so much the wind cutters, 
but the guns, and they can put you to sleep, or confuse you, or do any other status elements to you. It can be really bad. Hopefully, no more than one was put to sleep. Oh, wow! None of them got put to sleep. That, that rarely happens to me, viewers. Now, what... Or, actually, no. I was gonna say take that guy out with Etna. But, uh, actually, what I want to do is send my party members either over to the left or to the right. Because if you go down the middle there, the enemies on either side might gang up on you there. So if you go towards the left or the right, you'll only have to deal with those enemies. And maybe the enemies from the middle there, they might join in. But the enemies on the left won't go all the way over to the right there. So, uh, hmm... Okay, let's send Flan. I want to see how far away I can get. Let's do that. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't use my uh, Nazgard to take him out because he's not weak to fire. So, oh well. I only emphasize the word fire if they're actually weak to it. If they're not weak to it, then no, no, it's not worth it. So, you want to take out that guy, and then one more. So basically, what you want to do is focus on each wing of these enemies here, one wing at a time. And if you do that, then they won't be able to gang up on you, and you should be able to win the battle more easily. But yeah, uh, since no one got put to sleep, that should really help me out a lot. If someone does get put to sleep... Then what you want to do is send all your party members down that wing, so that way not only can you use a fairy dust to wake them up from being put to sleep, but also you can kill the enemies there, so that way, since that character has already taken a lot of damage, you can get out of their... or Yeah, you can clear the enemies, so that way they can't finish off your character. So try to get everyone over there, use the power of love... I'm not really a fan of Flan's other spells, or really most of her uh, character, other character abilities in general. Same thing with Etna, really. I don't really care for many of hers except for, like, Penny Raid. Laharl's really got all the good stuff. So now what I want to do is now uh, Curtis is starting to charge us. So I don't want to attract the attention of any of his other minions, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to uh, stand pat here, let Curtis come to me, and then gang up on him. And one of the really nice things about this battle is that you can send a character into the base panel and then move again down another wing. So that's a nice trick you can use to get through this battle. Yeah, some of my tactics are a little cheap, but this battle is just really, really hard if you don't take advantage of them. And I don't think I'm, like, breaking the game or doing something that's, like, obscenely unfair. It's still a reasonable challenge. I just got really lucky with no one getting put to sleep in the first round, so I didn't have to waste a turn doing that. So if you gang up on Curtis, you should be able to take him out. He pretty much has the same skill set as before, so I'm not worried about showing off his moves. Just knock him out as quickly as you can. Hopefully, I won't attract too much attention from the minions there. And let's see. Let's put you right there. Maybe uh, take him out with a good King of Beasts. Let's see what I can do. Unfortunately, the enemies here have really good armor and defense. So, yeah, defense doesn't make that big of a difference, but still, it's irritating to deal with in this particular battle. So I'm just going to leave Tiana alone there. And uh, hopefully they won't take out my ninja. They usually have a hard time hitting them. Nice thing about uh, them going after my... Uh, Strider there, is that uh, he can counter their attacks from afar. Unless they put him to sleep. Although, now it's pretty much too late. But Let's see. Hmm. Let's take
take out that guy, I think I can get him with a good tiger charge. Since that's about all I have room to do there. Good enough there. Let's see. Fun? What? Why don't you, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's have, uh... Tiana do that. And I'll just send her that way to, uh... Draw out the other enemy there. And let's see. You're weak to fire! So let's use another Totenkreutz on him. Personally, I like the uh, rapid fire spell animation better. But you take what you can get. Okay, and hopefully uh, that, or those uh, other soldiers won't gang up on my ninja there. Let's uh, have you. Hmm, can I get him? I can't use Meteor Impact because um, my Kingo is in the way. So, let's throw. Uh, let's throw Etna over there, because she can deal a little better damage than Laharl can. If only Laharl could learn another ability that would be even stronger, but sadly, the best we got is Meteor Impact and Hurricane Slash. And I think that's about all I can do. So why don't you just uh, go in there and finish that guy out? with a good ice spell. Well, okay, that wasn't all I can do that round, but you know what I mean, viewers. Okay, now I think that's all I can do. Let's see, let's try and draw out that uh, other guy there. And, hmm. Let's see, if I get within range... Hmm. Oh, right, I can do that. Okay. I was thinking, I can't quite get in range, but, uh, well, with this I can. Uh, ah, there it is. And let's, uh, hmm, I can't get Nazgard up there. Hmm, maybe if I throw him over there, he can get in range. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Man, I'm using that new ability a lot, but, uh, it's good. I wonder who's gotten the most kills of all my party members. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the Nazgard. Phew! Wow, I just got really lucky in that battle. That battle is usually a lot harder for me. Well done. You've... They didn't Proven get many of their uh, status ailments on me. I felt the true defender's spirit. The strength of your determination. Even in this mechanical body. I lost. Now, finish me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll kill you in one painless blow. You can't! Why? Curtis, our battle has already ended. You tried to do what you thought was right. It's just that your sorrow drove you to do it in the wrong way. That's why I want you to fight by my side, as a comrade. How about it? Gordon. I could use a skilled person like you as one of my vassals. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> the Overlord's vassal. That doesn't sound too bad. Whenever a bad guy it becomes a good guy... That my body needs to recharge. I must sleep for a while. They always seem to become well, a lot weaker. Be careful of... Jennifer. Curtis! Be careful of Jennifer? What does he mean by that? I would think a Prenny would be more useful than him. Be careful... of... Jennifer? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Be careful of her huge tracts of land! Well, of Will course. you three grow up already? <laughs> How did they modify Jennifer? What will Vulcanus' next move be? Can we win the war against the EDF and save the netherworld? Find out next time on the Chapter 13 finale of Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>